Hello friends and welcome back to Stry Tonight. You all know that React JS is one of the most popular library in JavaScript right now and every new web based project that is being created out there, you know, I, I can easily say that 70 to 80% of them are using React JS library. Now, if you are a web development enthusiast or if you are a fresher who wants to learn web development, you already know that you have to learn JavaScript and React JS to get into the world of web development currently, right? So in this video, I'll help you get started with React JS. Yes, we will install Node.js, NPM, and we'll create a basic, simple Hello World application in React JS. And while we do this, I'll keep on explaining you the bits and pieces of how React JS actually works and what are the files that are involved in the projects. And I'll also install everything with you step by step. So I'm using my new laptop for this video, which is the MacBook M2. I've already created one video where I've talked about how MacBook M2 is good and when I shifted it, what was the reason and if I like it or not. Now it's been almost two, three months that I've been using it. I'm planning to make another video, but that's a different one. So in this video, I'll help you in getting started with React JS. So let's begin with it without wasting any time. So as you can see on my screen, I have just a basic VS code open. So we'll be using VS code for most of the things. So the first thing would be I have to install React Node.js, right? So I've already opened this up. You can easily Google this on uh, you know, Node.js download and you'll end up on this page. Uh, as you can see, there are different installers for different uh, operating system. I'll use the macOS installer. So let's quickly download the Node.js. So to set up a basic React.js project, you have to have Node.js and NPM installed on your local machine. But you don't have to install that separately. You just have to install Node.js. NPM comes packaged with Node.js installation. So it's already downloaded. Let's just click on this and see what happens. Yeah, continue, continue, agree, install. I'll put in the passwords. So I'm using the default location, which is fine. Let's just go ahead and install the software. So Node.js is a runtime using which you can create server-side applications using JavaScript. And NPM is a basic project manager that can be used while you are working on different you know, JS frameworks or libraries, if you want to add more dependencies, more third party libraries, so you can use NPM to install those. So let's just close it, move to bin. Okay. Now I think it should be installed. So let's check from the VS code, whether it is showing that, okay, Node.js is installed or not. I'll quickly open the terminal and let's see if I have Node installed or not. Okay. So as you can see, it's showing me 18.17.0, which is the latest version. If I do npm hyphen v, so this is, these are the commands to check the versions. So as you can see, we have node and npm both installed. And these are the two things that are required to get started with the react JS application creation. Now, along with npm, there's one more thing that comes along with this particular installation of node JS, which is npx. Now you must be wondering how npx and what is the difference between npx and npm. So npm is a basic package manager using which you can install different packages and those are downloaded into your local machine. On the other end, using npx, what you can do is you can mention a various commands that are available in different modules and those commands can be directly executed and based on, you know, whatever requirements those commands need, those packages would be installed in the basic different project that you are creating. So npx and npm have slight difference. So what we will be doing is we will be running the npx command to create our first React project. Now, how do we do that? So this is the command that we can use. We can simply write create React app. Now this makes it super easy. So React has this command inbuilt. And once you run this command, you will always automatically see that, okay, you know, so I'm running this in the current directory. So I've already created this first React app directory. And if I run this over here, I will just put in dot. So in the current directory, the entire React project will be created. If you want to create the React project somewhere else, so you can also specify some, you know, my directory, wherever you want to, you know, this particular command to create your React project. So you can also specify the name of the directory, but because we have to do in the current directory, so I'll just put in dot and I'll hit enter. So it says need to install the following packages. I'll say yes. So it has started to install, you know, various packages in various libraries that it requires. So as you can see, you know, we are not able to create the React project inside of this because of the project name. So what I'll do is I'll quickly rename this particular folder. So I've created a new folder, hello React JS. The problem was, you know, I had used first characters as in uppercase. I think that is something that is not supported, but we'll see whether that was the case or not. 
So as you can see now, this is the name hello react JS and let's just run the command again, create react app and dot and let's see what happens this time. So it generally takes a minute so, so not too long to wait, but you know, I'll get back to you when this gets done. Meanwhile, I need a better haircut. A few moments later. Waiting, waiting, too long waiting. One eternity later. All right, so as you can see, the installation is complete and our first React project is set up. These are the files that were automatically created. And as you can see, happy hacking. So all this is done, completed. And now you can get started with working on the React.js project. So this is our first application based on React that we have successfully created. So what we did was we used the npx create react app command. So this is an inbuilt command that can be used to create a react basic, you know, boilerplate code is generated, basic simple project is created using this. And you can provide in dot for the current directory or you can provide in the name of the directory wherever you want or name of the project that you want to give it to your first react application. So let's just quickly go through the files that have been generated. So here, basic read.md file, you know, the file that you can also see on GitHub. So this has general, you know, basic information around the project. We can keep it. Package.json will have the name of your React project, which is hello react.js. The version 1.0 and the dependencies that it has brought along with it. So React, React DOM, React scripts, these are already installed along with web vitals, etc. Some testing modules, etc. So Jest is a testing library which is used to write test cases on React. So we'll cover this also as we move on in the future videos. Everything else you can ignore for now. Then package-log.json is generated when, you know, we install the project for the first time. So this is sort of, you know, the logged version of the package.json that, okay, these are the libraries, these are the modules that have been installed for this project. Then there's a git ignore file, ignore that one. Nord modules has all the modules that have been installed. As you can see, Jest over here and Babel, etc. Right, I'll talk about these in the upcoming videos. So the main two folders are the public folder and the source folder. In the public folder, you have all the public files, like, you know, different logos, etc. Manifest.json, I think this is for the uh, progressive web application standards. So you have to have a manifest.json. Robots.txt is to sort of uh, talk to the search engine, what should be uh, crawled, what should not be crawled, etc. Different information that you want to give to uh, the search engine that you can you can have it over here. Then there's a fav icon again that is the icon that comes up in the title bar. I think if you know web development, you know all these things. The main file over here is the index.html. So this is the file that is the main file which you will see when we run this particular project, right? So let's close public and in the source we have all the JS and CSS files. So I'll talk about the project structure. Let's quickly run this and see how you can run a basic React project. So, so what you have to do is you have to write npm and start and you press enter your React application will start. Okay. And you will see the browser come up and here is your first React application. So you can see, so this is the basic default boilerplate code by boilerplate. I mean, you know, the basic default code that comes in when you create any simple application, the automatically generated code is this one. So this is the UI that we're getting. So let's get back to VS code. Now let me help you understand how the structure or how the React.js application in general works. So if you know web development, you must know that, okay, you know, the HTML files are there. Uh, for example, there is an index.html. So whenever you open it, obviously, you know, whatever uh, HTML code is written, you will see in the browser. Then you can import different JS files in this index.html file. Like for example, there's an index.js file. Now let's say, you know, the JavaScript code for my particular application is in this index.js and I've imported this in the index.html. So when my application is run, I'll see the index.html file and internally the JavaScript code will be imported. This is exactly how React also works. The only difference is that, you know, this index.html will not have HTML code. That's the first difference. In this index.js, we will start our React application, right? And the actual code for the React application, the components and all will be in the app.js file. So if you can see over here in the source folder, you can see that, okay, there's an app.js file, there's an index.js file, and inside the public, 
you can see that okay there's a index.html file also so these are the three files that are important files index.html will not have html code it will just have one particular div tag inside which the entire application will be you know the virtual dome that react.js generates will be injected and will be shown so this particular index.html will be the only html file that we'll have in the project apart from this everything else will be in the javascript code the index.js is the javascript file which creates the react application and the react application code will be in such files these are the components file which you know if i create more videos i'll talk about them in those videos so let's quickly see what is there inside of this index.html this is a basic html file and you will see so this div id root so this is the div element inside which the entire react application will be injected and how it will come so if you go into the index.js file you'll see that okay you are getting this a uh, particular element if you know javascript you should know that this is used to get particular element with the said id which is root and inside that you know we are using the react dom create root function to set this as the root inside of which the entire react application will be rendered so this app tag is nothing but is the jsx version of the app component which is over here so in this app.js you will see that we have a function named app which is returning sort of an html uh, looking code but it is not html this is jsx so you know this is also something that we'll cover on later you don't have to worry about this for now so we can also you know just remove this for now and this is what it will look like so this is a simpler version also let's what should we do is let's just remove the unnecessary files also so if i have to do it what i can do is uh, i think this is for setting up tests this is something that you will not need right now when you are getting started this also this and this and this so all these files you can simply delete and you can focus on the main files so again this index.js is something that we will not change anything so this report web vitals we should remove because we have removed uh, you know the related file so this will also go away this index.js will also go away and that's it so we have to import react over here react dome client etc so now this looks cool in the app.js also i think this will go away uh, app.css we already we also have right now so we'll just you know remove the entire css from this and you know as you move on with writing basic simple code you can add more css to it that's fine so in the app.js i have this code right now right and uh, as we were to create a basic hello world application so what i'll do is i'll simply create a heading tag and write hello to react js and if i save it uh, the server will automatically refresh my application and if i open my browser here i'm seeing hello to react js cool enough so i'm seeing hello to react js the application got started and yeah now you can start writing your code here so this is not html although you can write basic html over here as well i can do this welcome to study tonight if i save it you'll see that it goes over here so just like you write basic html you're going to write it over here but there's some syntax difference like you know as you can see over here in html you would have written uh like this basic div class right but in jsx you write like this class name like this right and also if you can see that in this app.js there's just a function which is returning some of this code right and in this index.js we are writing this so these are different things i will cover in the future videos of react.js so if you want future videos if you want me to make more videos on react.js if you want me to cover the basics of react.js how you can create simple applications and then move on to create complex applications using react.js post your comment like this video share it with your friends and let me know that i should create more videos on react.js and then definitely do because you know the entire application on study tonight has been created on react.js so it will be a great experience for me to share different things with you different components how you can you know manage the various things in react application and it will be a learning experience for me too so if you want more videos comment down below and see you in the next videos thank you so much for watching this video